Hello everyone, my name is the Ember Knight, or Ember for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Cable Abduction, sort of. Well, I say sort of because we finished the main game, which you, which you would have seen in the previous video if you're watching this now, I'm hoping. Um, and now we're going on to the scissors, where we get to play as my best friend. My best friend is raiding a post office for scrap. I think this one will be pretty short compared to the other one, but we'll see. Adam, I told you this thing was heavy. I couldn't have lifted it on my own. Kevin, stop crying, you chicken. Screw you, Kev. I'm ready to break in. What's the plan, then? This post office has been banned for months. Nobody has entered since there's plenty of trash we can sell. Man, I can't wait to make some money and hit the bong once again. Make sure that no one is around, especially cops, while I'm inside. And don't let that shutter roll down. The wood log should do the job, though. Sure, head to the back part of the building. That's where the good stuff is. Fair enough. It's going to take a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. Oh, no, Adam. Adam, no. To control Adam left stick. Adam, I just hope you don't die in this episode because I need you for <laughs> I need to play Outlast Trials with you in a couple of days. Which we will be recording. Because I haven't done a video on my bestie in a while. Open this door and interact with the environment with the cross button. Yeah, I haven't played a game on my bestie in so long. Nothing useful here. Ooh, Adam, you're speedy. Which explains how you get to our house so quickly. <laughs> Go back. You've been warned, Adam. Toggle the flashlight with triangle button in case Adam is in a hurry. Run with square button. Options, button to pause. Keep in mind you can only pause while Adam is hidden and safe. Pause not allowed, so Adam's not safe. When is Adam not in a hurry? Like in real life, I mean, just a regular ice edit sort of vending machine. Wrong combination. Well, obviously, I didn't even figure out what the freaking combination was. Nothing useful here. I like how he's got no stamina bar, which makes it even more funny. Ooh. Holy shit, was it the metal shutter in the entrance? I should check just in case. What about not yet, you know? The note was written with poor handwriting, <clears throat> and the paper is covered with blood. It states the following. I fed the soda ma vending machines, and I taught my new friends a lesson. I've lost the kitchen key. Most parts of the computer are missing. A silhouette of a person made out of cardboard. It seems to be waving. What? Saddy meal. The door is locked. I must find the kitchen key. The door is locked. Just a regular... Well, soda machine. The old mention song about these. I should kick it. You kick the venom machine, a soda can rolls out. Oh, so basically, like, I'm just going to run around and kick a bunch of them. A beautiful picture of a seagull. I wonder who took it. I don't know really like seagulls, Adam. Ooh, Adam's hiding. <laughs> I really want to know if this game is going to be funny or it's going to be serious. Sort of kind of rolls out. Oh god, not the toilets. It's a piece of a newspaper article. 
It's a fact the snip is undoubtedly still out there. Some trends, some transients, I don't know how to say that, claim hearing scissor sounds at the metro station while they were waiting alone, but... For God's sake. I'm not even going to mention how the whole, like, metro station is funny. It's just, like, some joke that goes back with him. Nothing serious has happened. The police have searched every corner of the metro system without success. This is creepy. Yeah, so I don't know if this is going to be funny or not. Or it's going to be, like, um, serious, because... Um, oh, hello. It's stuck. I'm good, thank you. Just recording for YouTube. How about you? This is disgusting, I'm really scared. Oh, piece of flesh. The Venom machine literally puked this disgusting piece of flesh. Seems like there's someone inside it. You got the kitchen key. Okay, well, let me grab. Well, let me go see the door. Oh, that's good to hear. I'm glad. How's your day go? Um, it's going good, thank you. I'm just, um. Like I said, I've been recording for YouTube. That's all I've been doing really today. Hope your day is going good. The silhouette of a person made out of cardboard looks like a businesswoman. Um, I'm alright, thank you. Um, like I say, I only do... <clears throat> I only record these for YouTube. Like, I record them and then I... I port them. Where the hell am I going? God, I've gotten so lost. Use the kitchen key. That's a fun looking. You got the saw. That's a fun looking um kitchen. Well, fridge. Someone got cornered and dismembered in this room. Such a horrible way to die. Like I said, I'm fine, thank you. Kevin, are you there? You knock the shutter, nobody answers. Oh, maybe I've got to saw the bars. God, this is terrifying. It's a piece of a newspaper article. Mary Caldwell, 34 years female. Jeremiah Curtis, 29 years male. Harold Blair, 76 year old male. And Nathan Watson. Oh my god, I'm just trying to read notes, man. Nathan Watson, 24 years, my reporting missing when three days ago they did not know each other and have nothing in common except they went for a late night walk. Police suspect that he could have been abducted and recommends not leaving home during night time. This door is locked from the other side.
the four collapsed on this spot. I can see some power generators from here. I need a rope to go down if I don't want to if I want to keep my angles. Bro, why are you so speedy? What the hell? This is the panel. It might be working, but I need to turn on the pot generator. Well, I found the rope. That was a quite lucky find. The door's locked. What's this note say? It's a piece of new newspaper article from March 1982. They were locked and tortured to death with a pair of scissors. It was a massacre. There was blood and flesh everywhere, and the bodies were unrecognisable. By counting the limbs, the forensics could determine a total of four murders. Coincidentally, four persons shopped shaped cardboard silhouettes were found in the place. The suspect public known as the snipper is still one of the chase and could be hidden anywhere. Nope, I'm going down, buddy. The rope seems sturdy, I don't know how it got cut, luckily you haven't got injured, but how long have I been unconscious for? Maybe an hour, who knows. <clears throat> this generator powers the warehouse. Well, turn it on. Let's read that note first before that guy just comes back. Did you rest well? I have prepared a good surprise to entertain you in the next room. You touch my scissors, you die. I can't wait to turn you in, my friend. Okay, so I can escape through the generator, through the exit now. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Oh! Right, so maybe it's like, maybe I can get past them all without. Like, fuck it, I'm gonna run. Okay, it's too narrow. Okay, scoot that ass at him. Scoot that ass across the scissors. God, I hate how it doesn't even like let us see. Oh boy, what is that? A silhouette of a person made out of cardboard. It seems like an old man wearing a hat. There are a few cleaning products here, but nothing I could use. It's an old written... It's an old note written by a supervisor. It states the following. Karen, I'm still unsure, but the employees may have been stealing again from the supply room. I've put the key in the safe box and customer support room just for the prevention. The lock combination is 3482. Don't grab the cash, it's the collections of the day. Well, let me check that again. 3482. Because if I die and I forget that, I have to come all the way back. It's going to suck. What's up here? Just before I go anywhere else. 
Well, that's, a, that's the supply room key. So in other words, it's just grab, grab the thingy and then go in the supply room. Three, four, eight, two. Okay, that's just the warehouse. But that's the exit. Three, four, eight, two. Three, four, eight, two. That's all you freaking hear from him. I noticed he didn't come out that time. Three, four, eight, two. Holy shit, there's a bunch of money in here. You got the cash stacks. Adam's rich, boys. Why is he sound like he's going, oh yeah. At least once you've picked something up, it's in your inventory. You don't have to do it again, I'm pretty sure. Which is a bizarre choice. But I don't mind. It's good. You got the duct tape. Why do I need duct tape? I don't mind you need duct tape. Wait, well, that's just taking me back. Okay, yep, I know. Can we tell them stairs? <laughs> Shit! I'm assuming the duct tape is gonna like fix up the power, like the. You know what I mean, like the. The lever. This is a lot longer than I thought it would be. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure it was this way to get out. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna run. Because I can. Just go. Oh, Adam, no. Not the cops, Adam, no. At least he got a good beat, Adam. Before he got under arrest. Well, that was Night of the Scissors. Quite good. Quite spooky. Well, that is everything for Cannibal Abduction. <sighs> um, if you enjoyed the content today, as always, I will put links in the descriptions for other games you might enjoy. And I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.